What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It is me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you once again on a Saturday for a Saturday night special edition of Pizza Night. By request, ladies and gentlemen, the Snack Society wants to know, is Papa John serving up something on new dough? No. We'll find out what handcrafted means with their brand new, or sort of, brand new meatball and pepperoni pizza. You are looking live at Papa John's on the corner of Frederick Road and Middlebrook Road in Germantown, Maryland. I'm not sure what the name of this shopping center is, but it's got a lot of interesting stuff in it, like the Azteca Bar and Grill, Extreme Hair. I wonder if that's got something to do with ECW. Do they put you through a table when you get your hair cut over there? Is that what's going on? Top Nails. A Caribbean joint over there and then Bloom Medicinals which is a medical marijuana dispensary. Today I'm at Papa John's after much 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 uh, ado basically uh, to get their so somewhat brand new pizza part of their new handcrafted pizza line which honestly just seems to be like a lot of pizzas they already had once at one time or another and just kind of brought back with maybe a couple of things uh you know uh spiffed up a little bit this one is the meatball and pepperoni as requested by a big al our mma pal and i reviewed the previous version of this one way back in 2012 at the beginning of the second season of pizza night back when i was about 25 pounds thinner and had a nice clean baby face and so on and so on but hey you know that was a while back i wasn't even 40 yet then huh 2012 wow anyhow take a look at this bad boy lots of stuff going on there you got your meatball chunks which look pretty nice there nestled amongst three italian cheeses a three cheese blend you got pepperoni and you've got italian seasoning which is represented by the various fleckage you see here and there and everywhere although not copiously uh, made and they're calling this handcrafted they seem to be very very big right now on calling their pizza handcrafted don't, not sure why that is I didn't know if they didn't make their pizza by hand before not really sure let me see if I can't dig you out of 420 there slice. you go it's very very hot so I'm not gonna really lift it up much but you see that's also very very floppity there and nice and thin on the side with a nice pillowy pizza bone in the back or a crust if you will looks pretty good there's the pac-man for you comes of course with their traditional garlic sauce and pepperoncinis be right back right after this to try this pie to let you know if it's just more of the same old same old or something brand new and fantastic right after this all right gang i am back to try out this meatball and pepperoni pizza I've kind of calmed down a little bit, and you probably can't tell that I've had quite the experience trying to get this pizza in the last hour or so. Um, you know, everybody knows that you have to order online most of the time to get the better prices, right? And this is 12 bucks uh, for this large pizza if you order it online. And I ordered it online using my credit card, my credit card information that I always use, and it came back and said invalid. So I made I re-entered it and made sure I did it again. Still said invalid. Didn't say it was, you know, declined or anything like that. Just said it was invalid. And they told me to contact the store if I had any questions. Well, of course I did. And before I did that, I got texted by my bank twice that I had been charged $12.72 each time for two pizzas that I couldn't even order online. Call the store, they say they never received the order. They give me the number for the customer service line. Customer service line basically says, uh, yeah, you entered something wrong. And we don't we didn't get the money, but Visa just charged you, you know, I guess arbitrarily, right? For not for something I'm not getting, I don't know. Uh, but I didn't enter the you know information wrong. I had the information right in front of me, both in my hand and on the screen. Everything was correct. The zip code was correct, which they accused me of doing wrong. The uh, CCV number was correct, which they accused me of entering wrong. 
And they accused me over and over again. Not only did the uh, first employee who answered the phone accuse me over and over again of entering the wrong information, the supervisor that I requested to speak to said that I, over and over again, told me that I entered the wrong information. So, yeah, they basically wouldn't tell me that, hey, yeah, our, you know, our system messed up, you know. It didn't do it right. They put it on me and said I had to call room room. They said I had to call my bank to take care of the situation. Well, my bank's not the easiest to honestly deal with. I did call them, and of course, they told me that the transaction had gone through and it was no longer pending. So that meant that I was charged the amount, right? So right before I started the process of actually disputing the actual charges, she then changes the story to, oh, nope, you have been refunded. So this whole thing right there took me about a half an hour. Then I call back to the store to order so I don't have to order online. And the guy says, yeah, I believe that's an online uh, special only. You know, and I said, sir, I've been trying to order this pizza for a long time. And I don't mean like, you know, weeks or months or days. I mean, just this evening, I've been trying to order this pizza for a long time. And he uh, got really silent. I didn't hear anything for several seconds. Didn't say hold or anything like that or uh, hold on, sir, or I can't do that or okay, I'll do that. He just left me hanging there for a good 30, 35 seconds. Then came back and said, okay, your total is going to be 1272. And I was like, okay, thank you. And I get click, not have a nice day, not goodbye, not anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Where's the customer service in the world? Well, the customer service actually appeared once I finally got to the store. Because as soon as I parked, the manager opened the, st the door and goes, are you Brandon? And I was like, yes. He goes, your pizza's ready for you. And Somebody else says to me, hi, Brandon, how you doing? And the other guy goes, hey there, Brandon. There's three people that said this to me. And, uh, you know, I got my pizza, and that's all there was to it. All right, guys, thanks for uh, putting up with that. I know somebody's going to put the time stamp of when the actual review starts, right? Because I know people get annoyed at the way I just sometimes babble and rant. But it's my show, so I do what I want. You know what I mean? All right, gang, let me go ahead and pick up that same 420 slice that I had out because it's probably cooling down faster than the rest of the continuous slices that are still there. Go ahead and show this to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Hopefully stuff won't fall off there. There you go. Yep, there you go. I lost a roni right there. I'm going to go ahead and put that bad boy right back on there because it's where it belongs. Uh, you know, it's just their standard 16 or rather 14 inch pizza, uh, which is a pretty decent size. Uh, they, of course, also have, I think, their 16 inch, which is their extra large. That's cool, too. It smells like a Papa John's. Doesn't smell remarkably different from how I remember the other one smelling seven years ago. Like, I really remember how it smelled. Although, I did watch the review today. Let me go ahead and take a bite. All right, gang, that's a pretty tasty pizza. I think I like it. You know, I can't remember exactly how the other one tasted. I'm sure the pepperoni tasted the same. I'm sure the crust tasted the same. I honestly can't tell you if that meatball tasted the same as the one from seven years ago. Um, this meatball was not extremely, like, seasoned and flavorful, but it was tender and juicy and meaty, and that's a good thing. And it tasted like beef with maybe a little pork or something in there as well it was okay a pretty decent meatball not the best meatball i've ever had but not the worst either i've had some really dried out cruddy meatballs on pizza before and this was not that so that's good uh the pepperoni was papa john's pepperoni which never really gets the opportunity to crisp and brown up because of the way they do it they have it sort of half buried under the cheese and the moisture of the cheese plus the being buried under the cheese, you know, it doesn't really give for a good browning or crisping along the edges of the pepperoni, but it's a pretty decent delivery uh, joint tasting pizza uh, pepperoni, which is okay too. Uh, other than that, uh, you've got the cheese, which is a three cheese blend, they say. Honestly, it doesn't taste much different from any other Papa John's pizza. Do they always use a three cheese blend? I'm not really sure. I couldn't really tell you. I'm supposed to be some kind of pizza expert, right? But I couldn't really tell you that much. I think they usually just use regular mozzarella. But uh, it does have sort of a 
mild sharpness, if you will, just a little bit above the mild side. So yeah, that's a pretty tasty uh, three cheese blend, I suppose. Uh, not a ton of the Italian seasoning on here, and I actually think a little bit more of that would probably have brought out the true uh, flavor of everything involved with this pizza. And um, because it really what didn't, uh, it was a little bit flat on that side. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more zest, a little bit more zing. Didn't really get any of that. Um, outside of that, you have the crust, which, you know, of course, everything lies upon. And this is one of the better Papa John's crusts that I've had in a long time. I used to tell folks that, I, you know, Papa John's had the best crust of all the delivery places. And that was years ago, like the, the mid to late 90s when Papa John's first came to my area. Uh, they really did seem to have a fantastic crust. And then things as problems with the company persisted, you know, their crust just seemed like everybody else's seemed like it was frozen or something and just didn't really uh, have any of its own fresh flavor to it. Uh, in this case, it does. It's actually very fresh tasting. It's got a nice pizzeria flavor to it and a good crunk crackle on the outside before you get to a pillowy, a pillowy inside that's nice and soft and serves as a nice bed for this pizza. Um, the sauce is actually very good too. I was surprised. Uh, Papa John's sauce portions are sometimes a little underwhelming. This time it seemed like I had a little extra sauce on there and it was a nice pungent fruity sauce uh, that has just a little bit of like maybe a Roma tomato thing going on. Maybe they got some Romas in there. Hmm, not really sure. But all that put together you know, if I don't think about the experience of ordering the pizza, which was super frustrating, uh, I would say I would have to give this pizza a... I gave the previous version a two-thirds, by the way. I would give this a three-quarters and back it down to a two-thirds because of the issues that I had. Uh, you know, just think that... Uh, yeah, things should have been handled a little bit better on their side. I've already fired out an angry tweet, and they've already gotten back to me and told me to, to PM them on Twitter, and I probably will when I get back. But that said, uh, it shouldn't have been so difficult to order this pizza, guys. Give me a break, really. You know, honestly. All right, guys, thanks for watching Pizza Night. Thanks to Big Al, the MMA pal, for his request. Hope this filled, fulfilled your wish, buddy. Uh... Check out everything that we do on the Snack Society where Al is one of the 1,000 or so people that are in our group and you should be in our group too. Why aren't you? Click on the link in the description down below to join us, shall you? Also, check out uh, the Snack Society's antics on Patreon. We've got all kinds of things going on, exclusives for Patreon supporters. I do uh, exclusive videos every week, OTR the Extra Mile. Uh, where I talk about everything from uh, my life to professional wrestling to sports and culture in general, as well as I have done exclusive reviews on there before. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, check out the Patreon page. Click on the link that's down there in the description for that as well. Also, check me out on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Brandon Reich SAS. When you use that, make sure you use the handy hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That way we know what you're eating and you know what we're eating too. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell to be notified. And in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time. Bye.